What is going on YouTube? Welcome back to another video. Today is episode 2 of Coin Fun Facts and Information. In today's episode we are talking about the Buffalo Nickel. Let's get started here guys. Right here on the screen before you we have a 1913 Philadelphia Strike Type 1 Buffalo Nickel. This is the first year of issue. Um, they were minted from 1913 until 1938. Now if we look here on the front of the coin, the obverse, we see the date right here and then if you can see my mouse right here, we have a little uh, initial F. That stands for the initials of the designer, James E. Frasser. And then it's just a beautiful design. We have the Native American Indian right here. And we'll talk more, more about him later. Right here we have Liberty. And then I'm going to Next picture right here, we have the reverse or the back of the coin. Again, a very beautiful design here. We have Buffalo, uh, the United States of America, e pluribus unum, uh, five cents. And these coins were minted in the Philadelphia, Denver, and San Francisco mints. If This is a Philadelphia strike, so it has no mint mark. But if it was either minted in Denver or San Francisco, the mint mark would be right here underneath the word five cents words actually. Now this nickel has a composition of 75% copper and 25% nickel. Now let's talk more about the design of this coin. Like I said before the designer is James Earl Frasser. He designed this nickel employing three different Native American chiefs as models. As we can see here on the front of the coin. Now turning to the back of the coin this is actually a bison, not a buffalo. So the bison was supposedly modeled after Black Diamond in the, in the New York Central Park Zoo. Now in the beginning of this video, I told you this was a 1913 Type 1. There are two different varieties for the 1913 first year of issue nickels. Now right here is, the, is Type 1, as you can see here on my mouse. Um, the bison is standing on a mound, and the word five cents is on that mound. Now, in 1913, uh, they changed it to type two. This is the type two variety. Um, some 1913s have this variety, and then some have the type one. As you can see here, type two. The buffalo, or yeah, the buffalo bison, whatever you want to call it, is standing on more of a line, and the word five cents words, sorry, um, is underneath that line. Now this coin, the Type 2 coin you're seeing right here, is in fact a 1936. Now the pictures you see in this video are in fact all of my coins, as well as the Wheat Penny episode that you saw before. Now fun fact for you guys is that Within the 25 years that the Buffalo Nickel was in circulation, or issued, um, over 1 billion nickels were made within those 25 years. Well everyone, this completes episode 2 of Coin Fun Facts and Information. I hope everyone enjoyed it, I hope you all learned something new. If you have learned something new, please post it in the comments below, I always love reading your comments. Thank you all so much for watching. Oh, in fact, you guys can find Buffalo Knuckles in circulation today. Um, I find them all the time in, well, not all the time, uh, here and there, out of the boxes and the rolls you can get at the bank. You can find them still in circulation, so keep finding those buffaloes. Thank you so much for watching. As always, happy haunting, and I will see you next time.